Hey girl, I'm gonna show you how I achieved this look. So these are crochet braids. I am using Cuban hair, Cuban twist hair in the color four and um, the hair is 16 inches in length. I actually flat ironed the hair which makes it even longer, maybe doubles the length, I don't know. But this is me basically trying to get the ends of my hair tied down not the best technique but basically the point is to kind of get those ends hidden within the braids so once you've got your braids in and you know kind of what pattern you want to do you can go ahead and start adding your hair um, this is the crochet strategy that I use it's a loop and instead of pulling both strands of hair into the knot, I only pull one strand of hair into the knot so that it kind of gives it a little more of a natural look. Also, when I'm adding the hair in the front, I use very thin strands of hair. I don't use the entire strand, if that makes sense. Um, I usually split it in half. And then when I'm working towards the back of my hair for a fuller look in the back, I'll use the entire strand of hair. I really prefer to use this brand, the Cuban Twist Hair, because it looks natural. It looks just like my 4C hair. It even has a, a similar nature to my hair, the way it tangles, the way it curls, everything. And I really love the fullness of the hair as well. It's very manageable. As long as you keep up with it and you twist it, um, it won't tangle, which is exactly how my 4C hair works. So it's basically like having my same hair texture, just longer. Um, and I can play around with color without having to actually dye my hair. Now I'm adding a more natural hair color to the front of my hair. Again, you want to use smaller strands of hair in the front so that it's not too thick and it has a more natural look to it.
so you can see how thin these strands of hair are in the front the closer I get to the front of the braid the smaller I'm doing them just to get the most natural look possible so to maintain the hair and refrain it from becoming tangled like I said I twist the hair every night so this is the hair twisted up I'm taking it out and getting it ready to uh, be flat ironed just because I'm really going for that blowout chunky twist look um, my flat iron is on its lowest setting which is 250 it's good to keep it on the lowest setting so you can kind of take it easy and pass through the hair as many times as you need to without burning and completely melting the hair altogether So once I finish adding heat, I go back and retwist the hair and get it ready to be blow dried. Um, the blow dryer is there for the purpose of getting the hair to melt into the shape of the twist so that you can get that chunky twist out look. Okay girl, now you're gonna get your blow dryer and throw some heat on those twists. Another technique you can do instead of this is to boil hot water and dip your hair in it. I personally just don't have time to do that. So the next step will be to take the twist out and what you'll see is that the hair is wavy because it was flat ironed but it's also chunky because of the twist and because of the nature of the cuban hair it just looks so natural so you can maintain that look that you have with your own hair but you know you can switch it up a little bit more do a little bit more while still protecting your natural hair that's definitely the number one reason why i do use the cuban hair for this style